All right, good morning. Um, got some bedrock that I'm gonna clean out today. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got some really nice little spots that look like they've never been touched. And I've got really nice uh, compacted rocks up in there. Um, all of this is bedrock. So we're just gonna sit and test and play. Uh, I got Matt here with me and uh, All right, so I'm going to try to do this and not bust my ass. So if I bust my ass, uh, I'm cutting the video. <laughs> I cleaned that out. There was uh, some really fine, very small, fine gold. Probably, I don't know, 10 to 15 pieces. It wasn't all that impressive. So I decided if it was there and it was so small, then it should get bigger as I come up. So as you can see, a lot of this bedrock's pretty clean just because of the way that the current runs. But I did find a nice little trap here, which I cleaned out. And I probably found 20 to 50 little uh, pieces of little uh, little fine gold again. And nothing too major. Um, it's a lot smaller than what I was finding in other videos. So, but I found more. So that tells me that there's probably something upstream a little higher. So I went up and I got this gravel bar directly above all that bedrock. And so I decided to start digging here. Now, I can fit three of those shovelfuls into that pan. And now I'm starting to see uh, 20 to 50 um, really pieces of really fine gold again per pan. Um, I did find a couple little bigger pieces that were in here. Um, but we're gonna get, just going to keep on digging and see where it goes. I know that the bedrock is close by. Um, so I'm going to hit it sooner or later. I probably walked up maybe about a foot of an incline. Hopefully the bedrock doesn't drop. But what I do know is, is that the bedrock upstream um, starts to be exposed again. So I might have a little bit of a dip here. Um, hopefully it's not too deep. We'll see what happens. All right, well... Before I forgot to mention that uh, when you're cleaning bedrock, uh, make sure that you are cleaning an area where the material looks like it's cemented. If it looks loose, um, it looks semi-fresh, and you'll know because uh, everything will be really colorful. If it's been there for a really long time, it's going to kind of blend into all the surrounding rocks and whatnot. Um, this is the hole I dug. It kind of stopped. And the gold was still there. I was still getting it, but... Sometimes you have to you have to weigh the, your options to see if um, if it's something that you want to do. I'm already now maybe a foot and a half down, so here's my foot, and uh, I'm not trying to go down any deeper. Uh, clearly, the bedrock takes a dip here, which is why we probably have this um, nice big gravel bar. Uh, so it just wasn't worth my Worth, worthwhile for me for some people it is they just come here and dig it all up I just won't um, so I'm trying to find something easier so I went back downstream a little bit still still riding the edge and once I got down here to the edge now this is that area I cleaned out before I did notice this and you can see a lot of this has been washed up and moved and whatnot over time um, it's definitely not cemented in um, well, some of it looks like it is. Looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to clean a little bit. Um, but I think it'll be worth worth my time. Why not just sit and clean some bedrock before I head on out? So that's it. We'll see some gold in a minute. All right. So what I was saying before is. The difference between some of these patches on bedrock that look like they're semi-fresh because they're very colorful and then you've got stuff that's kind of cemented in there it's been there a very long time and a good example of that is some of this and you'll notice how it's all you know I've got bedrock here and it's all this kind of greenish brown just blah color but I get in here and I'm at the there's like a a little tiny bend right here which really shouldn't be here um, but I get a collection of rocks and you can see this stuff is really tight tightly packed it's not 
it hasn't been moved in a very long time. I, in fact, I think any time that the water is crazy high is when this stuff gets moved. And that's it. But if I come down bedrock a little bit, then I start seeing these patches of rock that are, start coloring up a little bit. And you notice how they're really bright. So I can tell that th this material has moved. Then you get into an area like this. See, I almost busted my ass again. So you, you can see that right here. Now the, it, the color is really popping up and out. Um, so I know that material is very, very fresh. When you have material that's really fresh like that, you know, and, and it's definitely not been moved by somebody else, you know that um, the water has moved it at some point. Oop, and I almost busted my ass a second time. I swear to God, bedrock's so crazy slippery. Anyway, as I'm saying, you want to look, when you're cleaning bedrock, you want to look for those areas that look like they haven't been touched in a very long time. Obviously, they're following, gold, they're following the pattern of where gold might be. Um, you might have areas of bedrock that, ha that show some material that hasn't been moved in a while that has no gold. Um, you just might be on the wrong side of the creek. Um, but if you do find one like that, you are more apt to find uh, older gold. And that's what you're looking for because the older the gold, the bigger it's going to be. Um, or more accumulated it's going to be. Today wasn't all that fantastic. I came down here and cleaned out some of this nonsense right in here. Um, again, this area is really known for its flower gold. So we'll come in here and take a look at some of that. Hopefully it'll zoom in for you. Or at least focus or do something of that nature. Anyway. So that's it this morning. Um, not great. Could be better. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Later. All right, so we're here at the river. Uh, we just hiked up, I don't know, maybe about a half a mile in. Uh, no gold, lots of black sand, uh, very little quartz, more chunky bedrock than anything, but uh, there's Mr. Matt. Hey, Matt. And um, we're down here on a current turn. Uh, we went back down that way, uh, couldn't find anything. Uh, but, you know, with bedrock that looks like this, you would think that there's something promising, but not really. So, all right, my peeps, uh, we will catch you all in a little bit. We are going to go try a new spot. Bye. Wait, are you doing a video? Absolutely. Shut your ass up. What, how to pan in 30 seconds or less? Oh, this is your, your video. It's for your YouTube. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Showing you how to watch somebody else work. <laughs> well, there's that. There's that. You should be in here getting some gold. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. A lot of garnets in here. That's a good sign.
All right, the big man and I have uh, switched locations. It's a lot prettier here. It's a lot more promising too. And um, we don't have all that crazy bedrock and black sand everywhere. Um, although I like bedrock and whatnot, but when it's just chunky and there's very little quartz, I tend to question the area, especially when I have more black sand in my pan than I do have material. Um, hey, big man, say hey. Hello. All right, so we're gonna hit this bend. I think this is where we're going to stay today because this is an area that I had been once before. Um, there's a lot of erosion going on. There's a lot of clues here as to where the, the gold is kind of seeping in, um, where it has been hundreds of years ago, and how it is traveling currently through this system. Um, the water is up, so we're really, really grateful about that. Um, but now we're going we're gonna to get a move on, and we'll see you in a little bit. Taking a video of me, taking a video? That's weird. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, I pan this as I suspected. First pan, nothing. Second pan, one flex. So if I kept going, I'm going to end up finding more gold and it's gonna get bigger as I get down. The problem is, is there's a lot of overburden in here. So I'm not really trying to do that. We're trying to be effective today. Matt's been pulling out some gold from here. Hello, Matt. And then I came down in here because I got an incline moving up and then the water kind of just tilts over so pulled a couple nice little small pieces out of here not flower gold thank god uh, somebody else had been digging right in here as you can see there's their pile for probably last weekend um i pulled out a couple little chunky pieces but nothing fantastic so i'm not going to uh keep messing with their hole however as i come downstream a little bit there's a area that keeps catching my eye. Now granted, this is an inside bend here, and that's an outside bend, but what I do like about this is a sediment layer that I've got here. So you can see all the clay on the edge of the bank, and then I got this sediment buildup. And you can see, in, like back in here, there's a, like a bunch of black sand almost. Um, and it's like right there on the surface. So I think a lot of this might be drop in. I don't know, maybe it is sediment that is washed over from time to time. But I've created, it's created a nice little gravel bar here above the tree. Now granted, someone would say, oh, why aren't you digging in the tree? Well, the problem with the tree is it's not really running perpendicular to the water flow. And it's created this like V and again, I need more bang for my buck, so I'm not trying to dig in here with a shovel. If I'm going to do it, I need a backhoe and a sluice. And this is uh, Georgia, and we can't use a sink and sluice here. And I don't know where I can use a sluice, but I will find a place, I promise. Anywho, I'm going to try some of this and see what we get. Later. <laughs> all right so uh matt and i are getting ready to wrap it up prospector matt say hey what's up brother uh matt was digging holes here whoa i just fell and busted ass in a hole that i dug. <laughs> Uh, we uh, added on to somebody else's hole here. Um, I started a, a grid, so I started here and worked my way to here and then worked my way to here. When we came in, we saw this big rock pile here and we went, hmm, what were they doing? Were they digging it out of this area back here? But that's all gross and nasty. But then I realized they were digging it out of here, so we went up a little bit further and uh, I probably did 10, 15 pans out of this area. I don't even remember at this point. Uh, but we've been here a while. So uh, we'll go look at some gold since we haven't seen any for a bit. And then we're going to call it a day. 
and probably go ice our legs and uh, get a massage somewhere. Uh, gold for the day. So not bad. Again, not insanely fantastic, but you know, hey, gold is gold, my friends. So until next weekend, have a good one.